Okay, today's daf is daf nun beis. We're going to begin nun beis amid aleph. So by the Mishnah, he saw addition. Okay, the Mishnah now the several halachas that pertain to damage classified by bur. He said at arba ovis nizik in the first Mishnah ha bur asher ha bur hamava vaever. So bur pit. Damaging through the pit is classified as one of the sources of damaging the atero. So now the mission is going to go into details of uh, cases that a pit damages somebody. Different halachas pertaining that. So the first mission says like this: the first halacha he saw arishin. If let's say there's a pit and the first person who passed by covered the pit, he used the pit and then he covered it properly. And the second person gums. The second person came to use it and found that the pit was uncovered. Let's say the cover fell off or the cover was damaged. So what's the din? And the like you saw, the second guy says, "I'm not going to cover it. I came and the pit and the, and the pit wasn't covered. I don't have to cover it." So what's the din? The second one is chayiv. Why? Because the first one covered it properly. The second one, and what happened? After he covered it properly, it got damaged, or it, the cover fell off. So now the second person comes and makes a chayv, not off the cover. The halacha is no asheni chayv. So that's it. Then you saw arish nebar asheni matzol megula, but like you saw, the halacha is asheni chayv. The second one is chayv. Now, what if kiso koro? What if now the halacha is this? What if the owner covered the pit appropriately? The owner covered it properly. And an ox or a donkey fell into the pit that he covered properly. The mace and he died. Potter. So the owner of the pit is Potter. Why? Because he covered it properly. However, like he saw Karo, if he did not cover it properly, or a ox or a donkey um, fell in there and it died. The mace and he died. type. So the first case is when the first guy used the pit covered it properly, and then the second guy used the pit and didn't cover it, so the second guy is tight. The second case is, he covered it properly, and the sheriff Hamar went in and died. He's putter. But, if he did not like his okoro, and an awful thing, he said, Hamar, for me, he's going to be tight. Now, the next case is like this. If a man was digging, or widening a pit, and not for the fun of, the ox, passing by, fell forward into the pit, um, and he, he, he was in fright due to the sound of the digging. He got nervous. The ox or the, or the uh, got nervous. And he fell into the pit. But from where? Mikhaila Kriya, from the sound of the digging. He's going to be Chayev. The guy was white, was digging. He was winding his pit. An ox came by from the, from the sound of the digging. The ox got scared and fell in and he died. The owner of the pit is going to be high for the damage. But if it fell backwards into the pit due to the sound of the digging, that's part of, that's already too far fetched. Now, next thing in the list. Now, for the Tejin if an ox, if the ox and its um, vessels, the vessels it was carrying, an ox was carrying vessels, and now for the Tejin Vikela and Nishburu. So an ox was carrying its kalim, it fell into the pit, and then kalim were broken. Chamar v'kalim, or let's say the donkey and its uh, garments, the, the kalim that it was wearing, fell into it, and v'niskaru, and it was torn. So what's the din? Chayev ala be'ima. The owner of the pit is chayev for damage to the animal caused by the pit, because that's a classic case of bait. O patr la kalim, but it'll be exempt from the chiyav for damage caused by vessels. We said this many, many times. Bayer is bayer v'lei kalim. So, the 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 axe and the kalim fell. Uh, the nafal the teches shaded the kalim and it broke, or chamor the kalim and it ripped. So the owner of the pit will be chayav for damage to the animal caused by the pit, but not for the kalim. And that's obviously if he did not go ahead and cover it properly. Now. Now, for the taste, they shade, had a shade to be cut on. If the ox that was, if it was impaired by, let's say, a deaf person, or the ox was a, 
If let's say this ox was either a, a sheikh or a sheikh to be cut in, Chayiv, he is going to be fired. Ben a bas, if a boy or a girl, have their almi, or let's say I have a kanani or a oma kanani, fell in it, but there he is put. But why? Because the Torah says that the digger of a pit is Chayiv only for damage caused to an animal. So, so if a person was hurt by it, then the Allah is his butt. That's what the Mishnah says. Just to recap the Mishnah, we said the first case is, if a guy used a pit and covered it properly, and the second came, second guy came and found it Megula, found it uh, exposed, and he did not cover it, so he can't say, I found it uncovered, I don't have to uncover it. So if, if an animal is going to get damaged, the second person is Chayv. If he damaged it properly, and then a Sherech Hamer fell into it and died, he's Potter, but if he did not cover it properly and he fell in, then the animal will be Chayv. Now, if he fell in, uh, the guy was digging or widening his, his, his uh, pit and the ox fell in, but because of the, he got scared of the noise of the digging, so if it went forward, he's going to be chayiv. If it went backwards, he's going to be potter. And then the last thing, the second to last thing he said is that him, if the ox of the kalim fell into the pit, either damaged or got ripped, so he's potter of the kalim, he's chayiv of the behemoth. If it's nafotech is shared, if an ox that was, um, impaired by a deaf mute or an ox that was a uh, a, a, a belonged to a cheder or shaitim katan, he's going to be chayiv ben or bas. Whatever the alma is going to be potter. And the gemara is going to explain sources for everything. So the gemara. Now we said in regards to the first case of the mishnah the, uh, that we said that uh, the first one is potter. Practically, matter of addition on emas mifter. And so when is the first person exempt if the pit is later uncovered? The guy covered it, so. What, what if it right away flies off? So you can say, oh, "I did my job. I covered." Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't uh, screw in the. You didn't. You didn't screw in the. The what? You didn't latch it down properly. So that's the question. But he's not Amos Mifter. Until when is the first person exempt if the pit is later uncovered? So Amar Rab Rab says, He's put there from here from the time necessary for him to become aware that it became uncovered. In other words. Once this time has passed, he bears responsibility. That's what it says. He's put there from my ability from the time necessary for him to become aware that it became uncovered. So once the, the time that he became aware that it uncovered from what he did, so he bears responsibility. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. From the time that he becomes aware that it became uncovered, so he bears that responsibility. Shmuel Amar Shmuel says no. He's exempt from the, for the time necessary for others to realize that the pit is uncovered and inform him. He's put there for the time for others to inform him that the cover has fallen down. The Yisker Pailin and for him to hire workers, the Yichlis Arozavi Chasero, and cut cedar trees to make a suitable cover to cover it. So basically, like this after this time, the first bears responsibility. So he said, like this the first one, the first part of the Mishnah. When is the second guy Chayiv? Second guy can say, I, I found it uncovered. First guy says, I covered it. So and how long, and what time, is the, and for how long is the first person putter? So Rav says, the second that he, he becomes aware, of it, aware about it, the, the, or I should say the time, it's necessary for him to become aware that it became uncovered. If he didn't do anything, then he would be chayit. Shmuel says no. Shmuel says it was a time for others to realize that the pit became uncovered and inform them. And, and, um, and, and I'm sorry, and Rebbe says the time that it's necessary for him to inform him that the cover has fallen down and for him to hire workers and cut cedar trees to make the suitable to cover it. After this period of time has passed, the first guy is Chayit. Now, Mishnah said, If he covered the pit uh, properly, and an ox or dog, he fell inside, the mace and it died, Potter, he's Potter. So the Gemara asks, since he covered the pit properly, if he, if he covered it properly, 
practically how did it fall in? So Amar Rabbi Yitzchok Bar Chana, he answers, Yitzchok Bar Chana says, she's the Amitaychik. The case where the cover rotted from the inside. In other words, he couldn't have known that the cover was damaged. So he's not responsible for damage caused by it as a result because it rotted from the worm's inside. Now, they asked a question. Give me a second, I'm sorry. A boy, the who they asked the Shaila, the Shaila was raised before the Chachamim. He saw Kisa Shiyah Halam Lepe Shvarim, if he covered it with a cover that is able to withstand the weight of oxen. But it cannot withstand the weight of camels, which camels are heavier than oxen. Now, camels came and weakened it. And then, and then oxen came and broke the weakened, the, the weakened cover of enough for bait. And fell into a pit. So the child is, my, what's the alafim? So Amri, the Chacham said in response, Hey, Chidami, what are the circumstances? Either Shkichin Gamalim, if camels are commonly found there where the pit is, Pesheo, he is negligent. He should have constructed a cover suitably for camels as well. And if camels are not commonly found there, Anasu, then he is a victim of circumstances beyond his control. If by any chance he did not come, and cover the weak, uh, the, uh, and, 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 and by, uh, it's by chance they didn't come, and we get a cover. So, what's the question? You're asking the question. He covered it properly, that Shwar, if they stand on it, they, they, they won't break. Then Gamalan came and stood on it and weakened the, the, unfastened it. And then Shwar came and fell on it. So, so the Chacham asked, if Gamalan are there, so you should have made a proper cover. And if you should have made a proper cover, so my answer says, like Slicha, it's, un- it's necessary to say in the case to also the Frokim, where camels came occasionally. In which case, the question effectively comes like this. Me, I'm reading on the Cuban of Frokim. Do we say that since they, become oca- they come occasionally, so therefore Bishel, he is considered negligent. He boy leas to be dighty, since he should have anticipated their coming. Oigdom, what do we say? No, keep the hash to me, Slicha. In any event, there are no camels now. So. Or perhaps since now, in any event, there are no camels. Anasu is considered an honest. So, uh, uh, good question. So, Mar asks, uh, asks, answers, and says, Tashma, come in here and bring a possible proof of the mission. The so Koro, if he covered, the Mishnah says, He so Koro, enough with the Rishon Hamar Bameis, Pater. Says, if he covered the pit appropriately, and an axe or a donkey fell into it and died, he's Pater. So, Mar says, Hey, Chidami, what, is, what are the circumstances? the If we say that he covered it probably for oxen and probably for uh, for uh, camels, so how did it fall in? Elalav the Rather, it's not the case. Rather, it's not the case that he covered it with a covering that was appropriate for oxen. But it was not appropriate for camels. So now we have to clarify something. If it's location were camels. Are commonly found on my potter. Why is he potter? Pesheo. He's Peshea. He's negligent. And if camels are not commonly found there, then Pshita on his soul. Obviously, he is exempt. He's potter. And the law must be that son of Rokim. It must be a case where camels come occasionally. Well, um, El, I'm sorry. Lab the Austin the Prokim. Where camels, rather, it's not a case where camels came occasionally. And camels came and weakened the covering. And then oxen came and fell into it. And what do we see from here? Tony Potter. The Mishnah says, our Mishnah, we have to explain what the Mishnah is talking about. So now that we established that we're talking about, that he 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 um he covered it properly. Yep. Um sometimes Gamalam come there. Happens to be it is bad luck. Gamalam came and weakened it. And what do we say? Potter. Alma, what do we see from here? Kiva the Ashtaleka. Apparently, since that, in any event, the camels are not there, Anasu is considered an Anas. Because you must say that's the case of the Mishnah. The Mishnah must be a case. We're trying to understand what happened there. The guy covered it properly, but only covered it properly for ox, but not for donkeys. So the says one thing. If camels go there, and he didn't cover it properly for camels, so he's a Bishaya, he's a negligent. And if camels don't go there, so he's Anas. So the says, bring. let's look at our, our, our Raya. Our Ar- Gemara, our Gemara says that he covered the pit as an uh, ox or a donkey fell in and died. He's puffer. Now, what's the case? How did it fall in there? 
If it was, if it was, if it was, if it was um, properly covered, how can it fall in? Must be that it was suitable for oxen, but not for camels. Camels came and wrecked the 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 I don't know, foundation, whatever you call it. And now, camel um, oxen came in and it fell in. And what do we see from here? That you're putter. So we see that the camels, even though that since camels are not near the pile, he's considered a pesheel. Uh, others. Versus Amri, no. Actually, we're talking about a scenario where he covered appropriately for oxen and appropriately for camels. And I ask the question, how to fall in? Why does the Gemara repeat this again? I don't know. Well, he already said this, but they're talking about a case where, look, where the cover rotted from inside, so nothing can be learned from here in regards to our question above with regards to the camel. Now the Gemara says, Toshima, I'll bring you a different proof from the mission. What I'm to say, like you saw, like you saw, Koro, if he did not cover the pit appropriately, the no, the no, what they say, Shara Hamor, and the ox of the donkey fell in and then died, the maze, and it died, Chai Biskai. So the says, Hey, Hidami, what are the circumstances of it? Ile, Malay Koro, the Shwar, Malay Koro, the Malin, if we say they did not cover it appropriately for oxen, and he did not cover it appropriately for camels, so she died, obviously it's Chai, Shikhil, the name of the Chai, does he need to say that it's Chai in that case? Elalav could all the shvarim like all the malim. And must we're talking about referring to that case where he covered appropriately for oxen, but did not cover it appropriately for camels. So Mar says, Hey Kidami, what are the circumstances? E the shkichel malim. If camels are commonly found over there, paisheu is a pshayim. We believe shkichel malim. And if camels are not commonly found there, then onusul is it's a big he's a victim of circumstances beyond his control. So Mar says, Elalav basur the prokim. It must be. It must be that for the case where camels came occasionally, and camels came and wicked it, and oxen came and fell into it. Dani Chayim, and in this case, it teaches us that he's tired. Al Moro is from here, keep it outside the program, since they come occasionally. He should have anticipated this would happen. So, Mark says, this is much the exact opposite logic. So my says no. Rather, you could say that he covered it appropriately for oxen and the not, but inappropriately for camels. Who the kagash left b'sheu? I asked the chenera. It's obviously he's negligent. The one says I need the nos of nation. You saw Karol since the first. Um, you can say that since the first part of the Mishnah cited a case where he covered appropriately, it's the same. And like you saw Karol, it's also talking about the use the expression he didn't cover it pro- properly. But by MS, we're talking about that he probably he corralled the shwam, but the light corralled the mountain. Hey, he gets the army that those who say that the discussion went as follows. Hanami by the lay by law with regards to this. We all, we also, we certainly did not raise this question. The kibbutz, so the prokim, because since they occasionally come, they show is considered negligent. He boy they are stupidities. He should have anticipated this possibility. Now, he boy alone when we raised the shaila, this is the shaila we raised. So, he cover with a cover that is able to withstand the presence of oxen, but he's not able to withstand the presence of camels. With and camels are commonly found in that location. And what and what happened? The cover rotted from inside. So, Mao, what's that look? Me, I mean, I need to have a bishay. It's a mal. Do we say since he was negligent concerning camels, have a bishay namelin asla? She's considered negligent with regards to rotting away. I do my lamb in the migay. Or you don't say that since he was negligent because turning camels, he's considered negligent for shedding rotting away. And since of practice, he is not to blame for this incident of rotting away. He should be shy. That is where it says, Toshma, I'm going to bring a ride from a Mishnah. He saw, Kuro, if you covered it, the pit properly. But no, for take a share, Hamar, and an ox, a donkey fell in and then died. But Mason died, but it was stated in regards to here. That we're talking about where the cover rotted away. Hey, she dummies, the said, What's the case? He named a curl, the shrub, a curl, the mallet. And it was referred to that case where he covered appropriately for ox and appropriately for camels. This limit, say, he ran away from his side. Shit to the pupper. It's obvious that he's butter. My habit in the maven. What? Being unaware of it, what could he have done? And allowed curl the shrub, like curl the mallet. Rather, we're talking about a case where he covered appropriately for oxen and not appropriately for camels. And allowed curl the shrub, like curl the mallet. We're shooting the mallet. And. It was, camels were common there. 
So, even though, so the pile that it got damaged from rotting away, you should be potter. And Mar says, like, I didn't throw the malim, I throw the shawar. I'm going to tell you that we're recovered appropriately for camels and appropriate for oxen. And we see a metechai. And you're on your way. I, the kakashilach, I had a question. He, see, am I having them made it? When I run it away, what should he have done? You should be put, shouldn't he be potter? Ma the tema, you could say that he put it in the He should have gone and knocked on the covering to ensure it was not hollow from the inside. And since he didn't do that, I would think he's kind of the mashman, therefore, the Vishnu teaches us, and he's not required to check to this extent. Toshma, I'll come and bring a ride for the continuation of Vishnu. Like you saw, Kuro, if he did not cover it appropriately, even if there's a share of Kamar. And the answer donkey fell in and died. The mason died. Chayv is chayv. Friends, the money he told me what's the case? He laid like throw the shvarim like throw the gemalin. If you're talking about water, where he did not cover it appropriately for oxen, not cover it appropriately for camels, she is laying like chayv. The zvina said that he's chayv. And the lab throw the shvarim like throw the gemalin. Rather than talking about cases recovered appropriately for oxen, but not appropriately for camels. Now, he the shvarim like gemalin. Now, now you're asking if camels are commonly found there. Peshe, oh, he's negligent. We the shvarim like gemalin on a soul. Okay, so make up your mind. Must be that camels are commonly found there. And they're on it from the inside. And the Mishnah says he's Chayim. Alma, what do we see from this part of the Mishnah? Since he's negligent concerning the camels, he's considered negligent concerning the rotting, and therefore he's Chayim. The Mishnah says, Amri, no. Actually, where he covered a pin appropriately for oxen, but not appropriately for camels. And and what happened to Shkiki Gamalim? Camels are commonly found over there. Also, Gamalim Baru and camels came in a week in the cover. Also, Shwaran and Fala Bay and Shwaran came and fell into it. Oh, the Kachulav Krita, I asked the Fedah, it's obvious, the Kheris Pesheo. I could say, I did not say they should be so good on Asa Nami like Kizo, the same answer. So now, where it says in the last thing, Oshma, Nofla Tinchi Kheris, Shaytu Begotten, Semi Mahalas Balaila Chai. Rises says, with the box and ox that was impaired by death, by being deaf. Or an ox. What? So I'm not, I'm, I'm not clear if it's it, it's a self death or if it's the person owning it. What does it say though? The person. Oh, so he, they own. So the actual share is a or, or, or I guess, well, in the cotton, or is very young. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. So the, the share is a chair of the cotton. So, or let's say it was blind ox, or or an ox that was walking at night and unable to see. The mahalach by yain. Now. If it fell in, if it fell into the so the um, chayv, if it fell into the pit, it's chayv. Umalach bayim. If the hats was, um, let's start again. Now for the day, shein cheres shete vekatan same umalach balayla chayv. Now, if it was because it was a standard intelligent uh, ox, umalach bayim, and it was walking in the day, and the owner of the pit, the owner of the pit, then is potter. And the gemara ramai, why is the owner potter? Name the midav b'sheli yecheres. If it's a Bishel in Yechadesh, I mean, I'm in Bishel in Pekach. Say that it's a Bishel from Pekach. Allah Shabbat Shalom. No, Lo'yar Amin Amigoy. We do not say this whole thing of since. Uh, we don't say that since, with regard to one matter, it's also considered negative with regard to another matter. But he has held Chayav only the damage actually attributed to this in Shia. Shabbat Shalom. You can conclude from here that this is the day another Mishnah. Okay, tomorrow we'll finish. Uh, we'll start from Nafal of Um.